With barcodes, you can share information with other users easily on Android and iOS. You will learn how to generate a barcode and you will also learn how to scan a barcode to retrieve then the value which was stored within the barcode. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by generating our barcode first. Therefore, we make use of the barcode widget and with this one, you can basically display here some barcodes and also generate them. To generate a barcode, you simply go to your build method and here inside you create then a barcode widget and this comes directly from this package and here inside you need to supply then that you want to display here a barcode and therefore you choose here code 128. And of course, you also have here other options, for example, the QR code if you want to show a QR code instead. However, we want to show a normal barcode. And secondly, you need to supply here a data property, which is of type string. And here inside, I put simply the text editing controller inside, which I have created here in our state. And this is basically going then inside of this text field, which I have created so that we every time get the value of our text field. And now if I hot reload, you see here this barcode inside and I also can change here then the text field and then also the barcode changes every time I change here anything. And of course, we also want to improve here the design of our barcode. So we want to make it here as a white background and we also want to set here some shadow around our barcode. Therefore, let's get started by supplying here the width and height of our barcode. So we have now a barcode 200 by 200 pixels. And by default, the data that we put here inside of our barcode widget is then also displayed here under our barcode. And if you don't like this behavior, you can also set here the draw text property to false. And now if I hot reload, you only see here the barcode instead. We also want to give our barcode a white background color. Therefore, you can simply wrap it here inside of a card widget and then you can basically set here a color or you can also wrap it inside of a container widget. So it's the same. And I also set here then some padding so that we have more space here also with white around our barcode. And to make it more interesting, you can also supply here some shadow. And now you see that we have here around our barcode a cool shadow effect. And most importantly, if you want to use this barcode widget, then you also need to go to your pubspec.jml file. And here under your dependencies, you need to include then this barcode widget. And next to generating our barcode, we also want to scan a barcode and therefore we create here a scanner and then it shows here the camera which then can scan our barcode and then also the value that we have put here inside before of our barcode is now then here displayed. So basically with the generation of a barcode, you store some data within the barcode and we can read then this data if we scan this barcode. And this can be also useful. You can, for example, put your link inside and then he can scan this link and then he opens, for example, the browser with this link. To also scan our barcode, I have created here basically an elevated button. And if we press on this button, then we want to execute here a new method, scan barcode. And to scan our barcode, we make here use of this package Flutter barcode scanner. And with this, you can easily scan then this barcode. Therefore, let's now implement the scan barcode method, which is executed if we click here on this button. And here we basically call then our Flutter barcode scanner, which is our package. And here we call then the method scan barcode. Here inside, you can then set the color of the barcode scanner line. And this is then later here the color of this line. And if you scan, then you have here exactly this line going up and down every time if you try to scan something. And next to it, we also have here at the bottom a cancel button, a flash button, and also you can turn here your camera. Therefore, secondly, you can supply here the cancel text, which is then always displayed here at the bottom right corner. So in my case, cancel. Then you can define here over this flag if the flash should be displayed. If you set it to true, then it is displayed. Otherwise, our icon will disappear. And in my case, I display here the flash. And lastly, you need to set here the scan mode and here you can then set barcode or you can also set QR. However, in our case, we scan here a barcode. Therefore, I also set it to barcode. 
So all in all, this statement here is basically opening then up our scanner and this takes then here the whole page and unfortunately you cannot change it. So you have to have here this whole page and you cannot have it as a widget. And now if the camera has then detected the barcode, then he will simply go back and then we want to display here the scan result, which was stored within our barcode. Therefore, we get here first of all the scan result back, which is then of type string. And we also want to display the scan result later in our UI. But before we do this, we also put here a try and catch around. And then we put here simply that the scanning failed inside of our scan result. Next, we want to store the scan result in our state. And before you can do this, you also need to check that it is not mounted. And this is always needed if you work here with await and async. And now you can basically put then the scan result inside of our state. And therefore I go here to the top and here I create then our field where we put then our scan result inside. And lastly, we want to display here then the scan result instead of the scanner code. And therefore I simply go here down where I have created the scan code. And here inside we basically check first of all if we have a scan result. And in case we have a scan result, then we simply want to display here the scan result. And with this, if we have later a scan result, then it is here displayed. Otherwise, we display here the scan a code text. For all of you who want to use the barcode scanner also on iOS, you need to do some more setup steps that we want to do right now. First of all, click here on this iOS folder and here you can then click on open in Xcode. And this is only supported on a Mac, so it is not working on a Windows or Linux machine. Here inside, click on runner. And then you go here to the deployment info and you need to set it here at least to the version 12.0 or higher. Secondly, you need to click here on the build settings. Here inside of the search type Swift and then scroll here all the way down. And here you see then the section Swift compiler language and you need to set the Swift version to at least the version 5. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!